такое ее вообще канай. Это въезд в Гархон. Тут ручей Аракижа. Страшно даже представить. Вот это мост, центральный въезд в Гархон. Другой дороги нет. Ситуация критическая. Это на, на выезде с Гархона под мост. Дороги уже нет, все смыло. Heated debates among Russian military bloggers over the deaths of possibly dozens of Wagner Group mercenaries in Mali are highlighting discord and desolation within that community, says a researcher into Russian military propaganda. The debate prompted by a desert ambush last week in which a Wagner Group patrol was virtually wiped out are appearing on a network of blogs known as the Z Channels, according to Ivan Filipov, author of the All Quiet on the ZZZZ Western Front Telegram channel. In an interview with Alexei Gorbachev of VOA's Russian service, Filipov described the Z channels as an extensive network run by propagandists, people calling themselves war correspondents and other sincere supporters of Russian aggression. The blogs began appearing on the Telegram messaging app after Moscow invaded Ukraine in February 2022, according to the independent Russian media outlet Medusa. Many of the Z channels have ties with Wagner and supported Wagner founder Yevgeny Prigozhin's mini-mutiny against the Kremlin in 2023, weeks before he and the group's co-founder and commander Dmitry Utkin died in a plane crash. Shortly after Prigozhin's death, Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered the Defense Ministry to adopt Wagner troops, formalizing them as part of the military. Filipov said some of the Z authors have been highly critical of Wagner's new commanders, suggesting that bad decision-making led to its scouts in Mali being ambushed and killed. They estimated the number of Wagner personnel killed by Tuareg separatists at between 20 and 80, making it the group's worst single defeat in Africa. One of the largest military Z channels, Rybar, which has more than a million subscribers, writes that the Wagnerites neglected security measures and sent a detachment with three armored vehicles and several dozen people to a place where, according to their own words, there were more than 1,000 militants, Filipov said. One important thing is that among the people who died was the administrator of the rather significant military Z channel connected precisely with Wagner, the Grey Zone channel. He added, Current Time TV, a Russian language television and digital network led by RFE stroke RL in partnership with VOA, wrote in its Telegram channel daily newsletter on July the 29th that Nikita Fedyanin, known by the call sign Belai, was the Grey Zone Telegram channel administrator killed in the Mali fighting. According to Filipov, the loss of Fedyanin and Grey Zone is significant 
because the channel played a leading role in the Z channel ecosystem. Filipov told VOA that many of those discussing the deaths of the Wagner fighters in Mali attribute the group's military debacle there to the new command. They say that the situation in Mali is connected with the fact that without Utkin, disarray and confusion began the quality of command, the amount of money, the quality of equipment and many other things dropped sharply, Filipov said.